Hey, welcome to Computers for the Completely Clueless. I'm Lee Keller. I'm Kim Cavanaugh. And uh, we're going to have some fun today we are. With, with nuts and bolts. Right, just kind of the inner workings. We wanted to have an opportunity to talk about how to take control of your Windows computer. Now, if you're a control uh, freak, you're going to like this a lot. Right, and if you're just a freak, well, then you could have your own show. <laughs> but seeing as how it's you and I here today, Lee, okay, what freaks. we're going to be looking at is the control panel in yeah. Windows. Um, and a lot of people never go in and change any of these settings. They never realize how many options are available to them, how many different ways that you can control things, and, and from the visibility of your um, software and yeah. the text uh, to themes, to all sorts of really cool stuff. Now, are we going to cover all of this today? No, we're only going to try to cover the letter A wow. today. Now, it, th <laughs> there happen to be a lot of settings under the letter of A. Well, three is quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, we it's won't, you know, good. it's not like this is going to be a 26-part uh, episode as we cover each letter. But we are going to cover some of the ones that are really common, and they happen to start with the letter. Well, let's take a look at our plan for the All day. All right, here. let's see if we have a plan. Let's see if we have a plan. There it comes, okay. Now, we're going to be taking control of our computer. You know, so Windows computer. Again, I want to make sure that these are all Windows settings, yeah. and that's fine. And we are using Windows XP. Yes. So there's going to be some differences if you happen to be in Vista or <laughs> Windows 8 or Major something else. Major changes. But uh, most folks are going to have this kind of uh, setting in their control panel. Okay, we're going to be looking at common tasks, starting with the letter A. Right. Accessibility, Accessibility options. Accessibility, very important thing yeah. that you can do to make your viewing experience better. And you know what? You don't have to be somebody that's got... A handicap no. or that's old you like us. You could just or... be over 50 <laughs> and need reading glasses most of the time. Big section here. Adding and removing programs. How do I get rid of the junk that's on my computer? Maybe I tried something. I don't want it anymore. I want to clear it out of there. Then that control panel lets you do that. Add software, remove software, and also add some hidden things yeah. from your Windows uh, side. And finally, we're going to end up with the appearance and themes, which yeah. is a lot of fun. It's it is a lot of fun. Nice stuff. Waste lots and lots of time. In there. Oh, we also can do automatic updates. So we have four under the letter A for today's okay. show. And uh, let's go ahead and we're going to jump out of this screen and go on over to the control panel. Okay, you're optimistic. Well, let's actually let's start with the start menu here because uh, we never did save you that. You know what? Let me save that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll give this a name. I'll just well, call we're, we're very now. well prepared, prepared, aren't we? So we're in an open office there, and I think you can just exit out of that one without saving. All right. Now, and we, were we had in, all sorts of stuff we were working we on. We were busy. Okay, we are in the control panel now. But how did you get here? Lee? Okay, to get to the control panel, you're going to go over here to start. And then right there is the right control, there is panel. control panel. Makes life easy. Yep, it's very easy. Right in the start menu on the right-hand side, you'll find the control panel. When you click on that, you're going to see this big blue screen that shows up uh, that we're already looking at here. And the ones that we're going to be looking at today are the ones that start with the letter A. Now, you got to realize this is the new XP control panel, right? And some people are more accustomed to the older version, right? From like Windows 2000, right? And we can see that by clicking switch, right, to the classic view. Okay, now that's a little bit different. When I click on that, we're going to get the view that has the uh, icons down the side. And, mm -hmm. and again, you can arrange these in different orders. Like if you right. just want to see the the thumbnails, it'll arrange it like that for you so that you can see it's a little things. bit different and, and things are there are a few more that you might miss in the other one uh, but essentially it's the same thing let's switch back to category view because I think that's what most people are going to see now the first one we said we want to talk about is accessibility options and that's over there it's got the little picture of the wheelchair and we're going to click on that and there's just a couple things here again it you know depending on depending on you know what your needs are you might want your Windows environment to be a little bit larger. You might want to make things, you know, not that much, Uh You might want to make your text a little bit bigger. Lee wants to jump right to you the magnifier. You know me, I like to go. But look at the first, um, look at the second button there, okay? So there's contrast and colors that you can change. Some people are colorblind or have trouble distinguishing yeah. colors that are similar. You can make changes here that will uh, help you see your screen better. But the one below it here, I think, is one that a lot of people uh, may want to know about because it allows you to change the size of the fonts. So it's going to take you through a little wizard. We're going to go to the next. And here in this screen, you see in the blue bar the usual size text for Windows, right? But if you click on the next screen, that's going to give you slightly larger. And if you need clearer. really big text, uh, then you can go to that one. Now, if we just go on to the next button here, let's leave it at the large one so we'll see what kind of effects that we get. Makes it easy for us. Look how much bigger everything is. Now, what you've actually got is at the top of the window. 
as you roll over an item in the window, you see an exploded view um, of that magn of, of what you're looking at on the screen. So again, if you've got you know if you've got some vision issues or you want to have a really big uh, view of what's on the screen, especially if you're reading a lot, that can be really handy. And there are also settings on there that allow you to track the mouse and so forth. Magnification level. Magnification level and so forth. Let's go ahead and exit from that, Lee, because I want to go back. Let's, uh, let's click the back button and go back a step. All right, so that was the magnifier. But if you just want to go a little bit larger, you can click on the second button and then click on next. Okay. And now what you're going to see is that just the fonts themselves yeah. are all a little bit bigger. The text in your Windows program is a little bit larger and a little bit easier to read for uh, folks like me who, who might need reading glasses. And you'll Maybe notice can... that you still have the checkbox for the magnifier if right. you want to use it. Right. So if you've got something you want to be able to look at it real closely, you can do that. And we'll go on next on here. Again, this is a wizard that takes you through. Um, and again... There are options here to have things read to you. If you happen to be blind or, or severely um, visually handicapped, uh, all you have to do is check a box. Um, and there are other accessibility settings here as well. So maybe you have a little trouble physically moving the mouse around. Yes. Uh, you can slow down your mouse, make it easier. A lot, a lot of things that you so can th do. So these here. are like quick shortcuts. If you mm -hmm. check one of these, the system is going to work for you. It's it, going to make it easy to go through every selection. Right. Do a lot of things automatically. For example, if you're blind or have difficult seeing the screen, this might be difficult for you to set up right. because you're not seeing yeah. it. <laughs> but I was just thinking the same thing. Might have to have somebody help you with somebody that. Somebody would set it up, but you know right. what? They may not understand your needs. Mm -hmm. This wizard is designed to help them get through right. it so that they can set it up for you. Right. So this is, uh, we're going to actually, I think we'll just cancel out of this one, Lee, uh, and get out of the wizard without making any changes. Well, let's see what our next thing is. Uh, I right? think uh, next is just to say if you're, you're all done. Okay. And we're going to say no because I don't want to. We don't want to get too far into ch making changes here. Yeah, you can uh, mess up some things by playing right, this too. and and you know not tragically. So you can go back to the wizard and make changes back. Now the magnifier there. We were looking at this before. Yeah, magnifier uh, lets you. Uh, do there this are magnifiers that do different things. We saw this already, but we were uh, looking at on on our mouse. Some of the new newer uh, mice that are available also allow you to pull up a magnifier. Yeah, this and, one brings up a little rectangle. And there's just a little button that's configurable on your mouse. Um, if you're not sure whether your mouse has that button or not, then uh, you can look at the documentation. Or if you're looking for a new mouse, uh, ours is a wireless mouse, right. you could make sure it has that accessibility. Really, item this is it. like a five-button mouse. So there mm -hmm. are the regular two buttons and the scroll wheel, but then there are two additional buttons on the side that can do things like bring up a magnifier. And this is nice because Courtney doesn't even have to zoom in for us. And I just click the same button right. and it goes away. Right. Now the on-screen keyboard, I just don't find a whole lot of use for it. Occasionally it does come in handy. Now one other thing that's nice about this, I believe there's an option on here to have it read the letter to you as you type it. Oh yeah, that's cool. And I haven't actually seen it and I don't think we'll have, I don't want to go digging for it right now. But the on-screen keyboard could be handy as a way to um, uh, have those letters so you can confirm that you're hitting the right letters. Okay. Okay, so uh, that's accessibility. When we come back from the break, we'll take a look at some more letter A in the control panel. Okay.